All right, if you're working on an older RV or camper, you might find that uh, corrosion has occurred. If you can see here, this is a screw that used to hold this antenna down to a truck camper. This is off a 1990 real light truck camper. And as you can see, water has gotten in there and it's corroded the heck out of this. And if we tried to seal over it with some Dicor or something, that probably would have kept reacting with uh, the metal there and it would have created a leak through the Dicor. So the best bet here is to replace it. Now, what you'll find is the newer antennas are a little bit different. And so utilizing the existing cable doesn't work. So it's nice to be able to find a replacement antenna that doesn't require you to rerun the whole cable because the radio antenna cable a lot of times was built into the camper. You'd have to rip the entire roof off or rip the ceiling off in order to access it. And that's what's nice about this antenna here is it can utilize the original cable that was in the camper which if you could tell right there that's what the antenna looks like so the existing cable will screw onto our new antenna here and if you notice this the new antenna is quite a bit longer it clocks in at 31 inches overall length so if you have a short antenna like that and you switch to this longer mass you're going to be need to be wary about backing into say your storage area because before you may not have hit the antenna but with this one you might so that's something to watch out for. So what I'm going to give you here is the, the part number and that is AN519 and I'm going to post a link in the description. There are a couple other antennas that are manufactured that are similar that will work but the reason I like this one is because it's metal. It's very stout metal whereas like the Metra uses the the split ball here on the metro is plastic and that's not exactly the strongest thing in the world plastic breaks and so we try to avoid that if we can now the base here is plastic there's no getting ar around that but overall it's a nice adjustable antenna and it should last a long time so if you got one of these older campers you're trying to figure out a way to throw a new antenna on there without having to replace the entire cable this is a good way to go it's a nice stout antenna and the quality of it really helps out with the radio signal you could pull in stations from hundreds and hundreds of miles away with this so this is a good bet and look for that link in the description happy camping